Hi, and welcome to another QuickBooks desktop video. In today's video, we're going to be looking at how we can import bank and also credit card transactions into QuickBooks desktop. Now, unfortunately, unlike QBO, we can't import uh, Excel or CSV files with the exception of uh, the QuickBooks desktop accountant version. You can actually do that. But for all other versions, you cannot. Uh, but what we can do is if we have access to our uh, online banking is we can head over to our uh, online bank and export in an Intuit QuickBooks uh, download version of whatever transactions it is we want to export for either our credit card or our bank. So like you see on the screen, there's a CSV version, but very often most banks also have an Intuit QuickBooks version. So we'll do that. And we'll be able to have a file that looks like the one I circled and I saved on my computer. And we're gonna follow the steps that I'm gonna be uh, going through right now. So you'll click File, Utilities, Import, and Web Connect from your QuickBooks uh, desktop. Then you'll select the actual file that you've exported from your bank. That'll take a little second to import all that information into QuickBooks. And next, QuickBooks will want to know all these credit card transactions. In my case, we're going to use credit card transactions. Which account do you want to link those to from all your GLs in your chart of accounts? So you would select which one. It's possible that that account doesn't exist yet. So if it doesn't, you'll click Add New. Okay, and then you just double click the file where it says credit card visa or whatever credit card or bank that you, you know, imported. Double click that and we'll get to what we need to do. So what we need to do is record or add all those transactions that were not matched. So if you look at this in the top horizontal uh, half of the screen, you see two Amazon transactions, 3620 and 1606. Those were matched with what's at the bottom half of the screen. Bottom half of the screen is all of the transactions that were brought into QuickBooks from that file that was exported. So these two were matched. Okay, the rest weren't. So we're going to have to enter all of those, not really enter them, but we already have them here. We just need to associate them with a uh, general ledger account and a, uh, a pay a vendor. And a, a fast way of doing that, if you have unmatched transaction, is clicking add multiple. Okay. So what that does is, it enables you to simply, at the same time, associate this with um, with a vendor. So say for instance, uh, let's go at the bottom. Say for instance, this Amazon, we associate it with the pay, that's Amazon, and we need to associate it with account. So uh, let's say this is office supplies. And if there's sales tax, well, put the sales tax, but in this case, we see there isn't. This is Amazon again. And you'll click OK to associate it with Amazon so that it knows it's Amazon. That's the end of our video. Hopefully you found it useful. And if you did, please make sure to like and subscribe.